Paddle Fest is back. The annual float or paddle down the Ohio is this weekend at Coney Island Park. Brewster Rhodes is here. It's always we love having you here. Thank and you. I say the weekend, but the weekend starts early when we start talking about Paddle Fest. That's correct. Question. We went from a three hour event to a three day event. So this 11th year of Paddle Fest starts this Thursday with our Kids Outdoor Adventure Expo presented by Hamilton County Parks. We have a festival at Coney, all kinds of fun activities what Friday. Age is? Uh, for well, for, for the Kids Outdoor Adventure Expo Thursday, which starts at 9 30 and goes to 4 30, any age. We have children three years old with parents, of course. We have a lot of children who are in the uh, 7 to 14 range, and they come with their organized group or with their parents or grandparents. And we have uh, over 5,000 children already registered wow. through organized groups, but any parent can bring their, ch their child or grandparent can. Um, and it's free and open to the public, and kids will have a chance on the first full day of summer to uh, really experience the joys of the outdoors. We unplug their electronics, and we plug them into nature that day. I love that. Okay, then let's talk about Friday and Saturday, because there's a lot going on. We only have like a minute and a half to tell you everything. Well, on Friday, we have a festival of Coney with uh, all kinds of other activities. We have five wonderful bands, of course. Uh, but you know, we have a kayak fishing tournament, a dragon boat festival on Lake. Uh, Como there. You can test paddle brand new boats. You can uh, take a canoe and kayak lesson, a kayak fishing contest, and a whole variety of exhibitors. So that's Friday at Coney. It's free and open to the general public. And then Saturday is for paddlers. And folks will arrive at Coney early in the morning. We put racers in first. We put everybody else in the river. We have an eight mile float trip from Coney to downtown. It's the largest paddling event in America. We'll have 14, 14 to 1,500 canoes and kayaks on the Ohio. And it's a wonderful way to experience the beauty of the outdoors and the, uh, the beauty and benefit benefits of the Ohio River. Well, and I, people would say, well, well, what about all those boats on the on the Ohio? You shut down the river Coast traffic. Guard works with us to close the Ohio to powerboat and barge traffic, so it's playtime for paddlers one time a year, four hours on the Ohio that day. It's absolutely safe. With uh, Everybody has to wear a life jacket. We have all kinds of safety folks there. We've never had a difficult uh, challenge or problem at all. So it's a great way to experience the majesty and beauty of the Ohio. But I was just telling you, I've never gotten to do Paddle Fest. It's the 11th year this year. Yes. I've never gotten to do it. I really, really, really want to do it. But all the canoes so are, are gone. At this point, our, our rental canoes are all taken, but call a friend. Think about the folks you know who have a canoe in their backyard. They've had there for years. Or Ask them kayak, to borrow it. Right? Or a kayak, either one. You can bring it with you. Uh, folks just have to get there on Saturday morning early. You can register Friday afternoon until 9 or it's from 6 until 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Uh, all boats have to be in by, eight, by 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, you get out down to Public Landing where we have a finish line festival, which is free and open to the public from 10.30 to 2.30. Come on down, music and refreshments, and see everybody else coming in. Brewster, three minutes is not enough to tell about what's going on at Paddle Fest anymore. Next year, we have to schedule five minutes. That's great. Thank I you very much. I'm for that. It starts Thursday. There's something for everyone. Go to WCPO.com where you can find all of the details.